I've had my trailer a bit over a year now, and it hasn't given me a bit of trouble. My problem is that I designed the layout of the interior as I bought stuff that needed to go in it. And it's time to change that plan. As you can see, the front end is pretty filled up. The big silver thing laying across the top of everything is the one-piece wing for my giant scale P47. Nothing's getting crunched or anything, but I just knew there's got to be a better way. And the back of the trailer isn't overflowing with unused space either. One of the things that got me thinking about redoing this trailer is this top shelf that I just don't use anymore. As I thought about taking this shelf out, I started realizing that this could free up a lot of space and let me store things in a better way. So I took the planes and the P-47 wing out and got started. All of this stuff in the front is going to have to be rearranged because I have one critical component that has to get in this trailer. And that means that all of this has got to be rearranged. Some friends of mine got a flat on their trailer, and after telling me what a hassle that was, I decided I better get a spare for my trailer. And was thinking about where to put the spare that got me thinking about that upper shelf and rearranging everything. I thought about putting the spare on the tongue, but that's just an invitation for somebody to steal it. I knew this much weight had to go up towards the tongue, and I wanted it right by the door so if I had a flat and needed to get this out, I didn't have to empty the whole trailer out to get to it. So I bought a mount for the wheel, installed that right by the front door, and while I was doing that, I put the fire extinguisher I just bought right above it, also by the front door, we could get at it easily. My first aid kit was hard to get to, so I put that on the door, and below that I put a sign that says there's a fire extinguisher right around the corner if you happen to look. Warning sign was already on the door, but I put this employees only above it to make it sound like it might kill you if you sleep in my trailer. As soon as I took the top shelf out, I could see that we were headed in the right direction with this refitting thing. The sidewalls now have a whole bunch of usable space, and I had an idea for them. To make more room on the wall across from the door, I moved the canopy and chairs more towards the tire to get them further into the vinos, and that made quite a bit more room on the wall. It also looks like it opened up some floor space, but we'll see about that later. About this time, I also made and installed this box where I keep the bottles and cans that I carry along. Now I have a safe place to put the wing for my giant P-47. I got all these hangers and clips and bungees from a northern tool store near me. The store here has a surprising amount of trailer stuff. This is all way overkill in terms of strength, but I don't want to hear about nothing breaking loose in the trailer. And as you can see, that plan worked out well. The biggest, bulkiest piece in the trailer wasn't taking apart any room anymore. And now it doesn't have to be the first thing out and the last thing in. I stuck my edge in here to see how close I can put planes and still have clearance on the side. And this idea seems to be working out better and better all along. I also made a new bag and a place to put all my spare props. Now the props don't bother my planes and planes don't bother my props. I used the same hanger and strap system on the right side of the trailer to hold the wings from my yak. And now they are more out of the way and not getting bounced around either. Now I can start loading up some airplanes and see if all this planning actually worked out. And I can tell you right now that that was the easiest the P-47 ever went in a trailer. And I still use the bungee tie downs just like we did before. This one keeps the tail section on this padded bar so it doesn't move around too much and get dinged up. And now without the wing bags to worry about, the planes on the floor of the trailer going easier also. This is starting to look like a real pro deal here, huh? The planes on the floor are only secured by bungees wrapped around the landing gear. In more than a year of pulling planes around, I never found any damage because of this restraint system. When I put the yak fuselage in, we came across a little problem, but it was fortunately easy to fix. I had forgotten about the yak being longer than the edge. When I got the yak fuselage fully in the trailer, it was in the way of the door, just stuck too far back. But it turns out the fix was pretty easy. I just put the yak on the left side and then turn the edge around and put that in on the right side and that pretty much cured all the problems. I had to rearrange the toolbox and had a couple of times to get this all right but now everything travels just fine. And I have plenty of room between the planes now for the wing bag that's left over. Or it fits up here also. This is just as good a place for it as any. So now I can get all three of the planes in and have more room around them. Everything looks like it's safer for traveling, too. I like that there's a little more room in between the planes. Even though they've been held down real well, you can still have one move now and then. 
And here's my bag of extra bungee cords in case something does want to move. As it sits right now, my trailer has everything in it that I take to the field. If I really need to, I can get another plane on the shelf. But I seldom fly two planes on one day, so this is enough. Now I just gotta lock it up and take it to the field and see how everything works on the way out. I have really liked having this trailer for the last year, year and a quarter. But I think I'm going to like it even more now that I got everything laid out better.